Welcome! Uh, oh wait, I already showed the welcome screen. Now that you know what kind of situation you're in, so I guess I better give you the gist of what happened before I started recording, because I started recording on day six. Um, so, five days ago... Um... Well... Well, what can I say? Sturm is hard. I mean, I, I mean, I gotta, I gotta deal with all the dirty tricks the AI has this time. So, what happened four days ago? Well, Sturm got to use the CO power on the second day, presumably because I blasted a lot of his units, primarily the bombers, and of course that jacked up his power bar like a billion times. So. Yeah, he'll get to use his CO power a lot, so you won't get bored. So it's Eagle's turn, and uh, and I've already got the upper hand because because I was uh, busy blasting out the air units that he is pre-deployed with. Yes, he's pre-deployed with medium tanks, the bombers, the fighters, the whole gist of it, and yet. And that, I guess, Sturm really is evil. No wonder they call him Mr. Evil over in Japan. So... There's pretty much nothing you can do to avoid his CO power. And I'll show you what that is. But I wanna... Build up the suspense. Good thing you can't use it this turn. The computer never uses their CO power unless that it's full on uh, at the beginning of the day. Of course, that doesn't count for Eagle. But we're not talking about Eagle. We're talking about Sturm and how and how hard this is if you don't get it right. You really need a lot of those anti-airs. To, to throw back the, the air units and medium tanks to throw back the ground units. Maybe a few bombers here and there. Oh, and since I have grit on on the blue team there, I I can pretty much give him missiles and, and he'll kick butt with them. That's right, missiles. Take that, mister. Missiles are useless. Unfortunately, the blue team's usefulness is pretty much null and void once once the main force goes up there to where all the to where all the black properties are. Yeah, and grit's a little slow. Yeah, indirect or war always a little slow on the movement. Which is why they usually stay in one place. Now they gotta be moving, so I'll send my artilleries to back up Orange Star, which is always Andy, as you obviously saw. And and guess what else? It just so happens that I have Eagle on the green team. This is the this is probably the best setup you can have, since Canbe is so hard to work with, in my opinion. Oh, and you should have seen what happened a couple days ago. Eagle got to use his CL power, which of course meant that his air units would be moving twice, and <laughs> that pretty much secured the victory for me. Hmm. I'm wondering where I can move that bomber and it'll be safe. Oh well, suicidal fighter! It's gonna get killed, but at least that fighter is delayed for another two turns. Well, since there are no medium tanks or bombers, I guess I can send Eagle's medium tanks up there and uh, do some damage. Yeah. Oh, and uh, as for when you should use your CO powers, um, just use them whenever. 
with Andy, if you need, if you need, if you desperately need to repair, use Hyper Repair. For Eagle, just use it when it comes along. Even if it, the power bar fills in the middle of the turn, I love that about Eagle. Oh great, Sturm's bar is full, that means he'll use his power in the next move. Okay, day 8. Yeah, I, I captured two of those properties that Sturm had, so now... Am I in the clear? Oh no, there's a bomber. Of course, my missile, right? That's right, missile can take it out. Unfortunately, my anti-air just got killed on the counter. Attack. See, I'll let the green team take that property. I always notice that the cities look better when they're colorful, like variety of colors out there. Oh well. Blue team's turn. Not much for them to do, since they're so since indirects are so slow. And I found that even with Grit's weak indirect combat, he can still do a lot of damage with bombers, fighters. Okay, maybe not fighters, but bombers, yes, build those if necessary. Now, um, you might be wondering what happens if you, uh, lose. Well, well, I've played this before and lost, and it just so happens that Andy can lose and you'll still be able to play on. But if any of your three team members lose, then you'd probably better restart. Oh, look at that. Bomber attacks missile, destroys it, and cannot be shot by the other missiles. Unfortunately, there are anti -airs. And here it is! Stern's CO power! Yeah, you read that right. INCOMING! Oh my god, that thing does 8 damage to any unit hit by it. And look at that! I, I just got done repairing that, that rocket! What is he thinking? Sheesh. Okay, the Meteor aims for where it can do the most damage money-wise, so if you have a groups of expensive units, then you can divert the Meteor to some extent. Oh yeah, and, it, and, it, and if you put all your attacks on one, on one turn, then, you, then it better be the turn that he uses his CO power. I found that it's best to use your power af on the turn after they use their power. Because it, while their power is in effect, their power bar won't charge and you, and you won't risk getting hit by another meteor in this case. 